to my YouTube channel, shall we? So today I'm doing, I plan to do Form 5 Chapter 4 Vector, okay? I'm doing this SPM past year questions 2016 and under question 5. It's one of the hot questions under SPM 2016. So let's look through it. Hopefully you guys have some basic for you to understand whatever I want to say next. So they say diagram 5, this one. The diagram that I draw for you shows the position and direction of both A, B, C in a solar boat competition. So that means now you have three boats and then you know they're having competition. So next one, both boat A and B move in the direction of the water current. So they try to tell me both A and B move in the direction of water current. You know, you know what is water current, right? You should know both they will definitely move on top of river or sea. So whenever there's water, then you will have water current. So water that will have movement, it's not static, okay? So now they try to tell you that the boat, you guys can see that the boat actually moving up like that, based on what I draw for you. So that means now you should know the water also moving to the same direction. So the blue color highlighter is actually the water. Water ma, blue, okay? So my dear, so they say the boat A and B move in the direction of the water current. So boat walking this way, water also walking the same way okay so next the velocity of the water current is given by this so first they try to give me the water current speed so they try to give me the velocity of the water current so you guys can see it's w so that w is actually speed for water current so given the velocity for boat a is 2i plus j and the velocity for boat b is 6i plus 3j so before you start you have the water speed you have the boat a speed you have the boat b speed and let's continue read a a, they say, determine, find out. Determine how many times. So guys, they're going to find how many times. So whenever they're going to find how many times, they're actually finding the relation. So how do you find relation? Under this chapter, relation, that means it's the ratio. So how do we find the ratio? If you guys should know, normally ratio, we will use the constant unknown. And in my case, I normally use lambda. Some school teacher use H, use K, this kind of unknown, but normally I use lambda. So that means now they want to find the lambda of the resultant velocity of boat B compared to the resultant velocity of boat A. That means this question want me to find out boat B and boat A, their speed is actually what relation, like how many times of boat B compared to boat A. So how do we do that? So let me write down the working for you guys here. So let's start from here, A. So now they are comparing about who? Velocity for boat B and velocity for boat A. So velocity, I call it V. Velocity for boat B is only VB. Let's call it VB. Velocity for boat A is only VA. So just now we say, what to find a relation? In between, you must put a ratio. Ratio, any unknowns will do, but usually I use lambda. So it's only VB, VA. VB equals to lambda, VA. And most, of, most important, both of them heading to the same direction. So they are parallel. You guys can use lambda. So the point is, how do you guys find resultant velocity? So many students wrong is because they just put B here. So can you just put velocity for both B here? No. Why, my dear? Let me tell you first, they're talking about resultant velocity. So what is resultant velocity? Resultant velocity is that actually talking about velocity of two or more than two vector. So that means combination sum, okay, total, okay total of two or more vector so whenever they talk about velocity resultant velocity then you must remember that means your speed not only should have one but should have combination of two why you will have two i hope you guys understand that that means now you guys have both a okay so both a actually moving like that and both a speed is actually what based on the questions they say is 2i plus j so that means the speed for both a is just 2i plus j but is 2i plus j your both a only speed no because now you're not walking on top of like a static road. You're actually moving on the water. Water will have water current. And your water current actually move the same direction as you. So just imagine this is your original speed. But isn't it water current move the same direction as you? Then your water current will push you even faster. So isn't it at the end, your speed should be your original speed and the water current speed plus together, total up then only is the resultant velocity of boat B. So that means, in, in conclusion, it means that velocity for boat B should be boat B original speed plus the water current speed. Understand? So how about velocity for boat A? So isn't it also same? Boat A speed plus water current speed. So let me sub inside everything they provide on top. So B, isn't it 6i plus 3j? 
plus water current. Water current is in the I plus half J. Equals to lambda. Same for this, the A. A is in the 2I plus J. Plus the water current provided on top is in the I plus half J. So every single thing I just sub accordingly. So now all the I and I can combine, all the J and J can combine, combine them together. 6I plus 1I is in the 7I. So 3J plus half J is in the 7 over 2J. Don't know, just press calculator. Next one. 2i plus 1i is in it 3i. 1j plus 1 over 2j is in it 3 over 2j. So we stop here. Nope. Normally, you guys will open bracket. So lambda, I will times in. So do you guys get 3 lambda i plus 3 over 2 lambda j. So just in case you confuse the left hand side, I will just copy back the same one. So will you actually stop here? No. You guys should know that vector usually you guys will use compare method for you to get rid of i and j because if not look at the whole line isn't you guys will have i j and lambda three unknown and you just want to find lambda so i and j you must get rid of it how do you guys get rid of it you guys can compare so look at left side and look at right side do you guys realize left side there's one i right side there's also one i so isn't it whatever in front of i and whatever in front of i should be equivalent that is what we call compare so then it's 7 and 3 lambda should be the same. So from there, I get lambda equivalent to 7 over 3. If you're not too sure, you can try to compare another one as well. And you should definitely get back the same lambda. So the next one, isn't it? Left side 1j, right side 1j. Same thing. So the j in front, 7 over 2. The j in front, 3 over 2 lambda. Again, they should be the same. So then it's 7 over 2 equals to 3 over 2 lambda. So lambda answer. Times 3 over 2, move there, divide by 3 over 2. I guess getting lambda, still 7 over 3. So I get back the same one, that means, yep, I'm correct. So can you straight away write 7 over 3 times? No, because sometimes your arrangements of B and A will make the lambda different value. So now you get 7 over 3. Maybe some of them, they didn't write VB equals to lambda VA. Instead of that, maybe some of them will write VA equals to lambda VB. Then the lambda they get won't be the same. But at the end, you guys should get back the same answer. So, you shouldn't just stop here. Please remember that all your lambda answer actually depends on the equation name that you started with. So, every single time you guys get the lambda answer, sub back to the equation that you start. So guys, if I sub it back, do you guys realize that means VB equals to 7 over 3 VA. Correct? And now this question is what they're asking. They're asking B first or A first. Let me read again for you. They're asking, determine how many times the resultant velocity of both B compared to both A. That means they want B first, only A. So, so now, isn't it you guys get that BB equals to 7 over 3 VA. So once you guys get that, and then they're asking B, how many times of A. So now, isn't it you guys can straight write out that. Okay, let me write a triple dot for you. Resultant velocity of what B because they're asking B first so I write B first and based on whatever equation I just write I also start from B so isn't it resultant velocity of both B is so put color for you both B isn't it is both B so you started from both B you can write both B now is what now isn't it is actually 7 over 3 times of your resultant velocity of both A just like that, easy peasy, done. A lot, of, a lot of students cannot do this year is because they don't know what is resultant velocity. But if you understand it, it shouldn't be a problem. It's only just like that, that resultant velocity of both B is actually 7 over 3 times of resultant velocity of both A. That means both B will be faster than both A. That's actually what you know. So next, let's continue read the questions. So B, on the way to the finishing line, both C is facing a technical problem and off track. Based on the drawing, you guys can see that. Seriously, purple color, yeah? Do you guys realize that both C, halfway through, suddenly, you know, sang it already, already, off track, okay? So they actually off track. So next they say, the velocity for both C is actually this one. So this is actually the speed for both C. So let's look at the first one, B1. They're actually asking you the resultant velocity for both C. So guys, now they will find what? Velocity for both C, isn't it VC, correct? Again, can you just write the speed for both C? No, I already say that no matter you are, you are off track of your on track, still there's water current and water current actually following the same direction as your boat. So isn't it that means your resultant velocity for both C should be the both C original speed 
plus the water current speed. Isn't it same like how we do for boat A and boat B? So the boat C speed will be 2i minus 3 over 2j, correct? Plus the water current. How about the water current? Isn't it based on the top? It's i plus 1 over 2j. So let's plus them together. 2i plus 1i, 3i. Negative 3 over 2 plus 1. 1 over 2. Not too sure, you guys can press calculator. Isn't it negative 1j? Just like that, I realized that resultant velocity for both C will be 3i minus 1j after combination of both C and water current speed. So next, second part. Then they're asking you, then they're asking you, find the unit vector in the direction of both C. So guys, now they will find what? Unit vector. Hopefully all of you know what is unit vector. So unit vector, let me put color for you. Hopefully you guys remember that unit vector symbol will look like this. The one that we're in cap, something like that, okay? The symbol like that. Modulus is always magnitude. A sharp sharp, like, you know, a house sharp. I always tell my student a cap, okay? Because it really looks like a cap for me. So isn't it the cap thing we call a unit vector? Unit vector formula SPM provided, let me write for you guys. Isn't it 1 over the magnitude? And then write the vector beside. This is how the unit vector formula look like. Do you understand? Never mind. Let me show you how to do. So let's do it. They will find unit vector for both C. So let me write for you sentence form. They will find unit vector for both C. Correct? So let me sub inside. 1 over. What is my both C vector now? It's not like you haven't found it that. Isn't it both C vector? You guys found it just now. Correct? Look at my orange color highlighter. So just now I already know that for both C, the speed will be 3i minus 1j. Isn't it? That is whatever you have now. So when you want to find the magnitude, what is the x, what is the y? So I hope you guys know that this is a square root. Isn't it? Always when you write i, j form, in front of i is always the x, in front of j is always the y. So that means whenever you guys want to know what is your x, what is your y, look at your i. i in front is your x, so isn't it 3 squared? Plus, J in front is your Y. Isn't it your Y will be negative 1 square. So all you need to do is just press calculator and you guys should get square root 10 at the bottom. So isn't it the same thing? 3I minus 1J. No one stop here. You will normally expand it. You guys get 3 over square root 10I minus 1 over square root 10J. And just like that. Da -da -da -da. Done. So this question worth 7 marks in total. The part B, they worth 3 marks because you get 3i minus 1j, you get 1 mark. You get the formula correctly, they give you 1 mark. You get the answer correctly, they give you another 1 mark. So B worth 3 marks. How about A? A worth 4 marks. So every single time and you can use the speed for both B plus the water current, you guys will get 1 mark. The moment you guys get until 1i, 1j, 1 mark. Once you compare, you guys will get one mark. And you can write this sentence out of seven over three times, you also get one mark. In total, this question worth seven marks, just like that. Done. Hopefully you guys understand. Any questions, please comment below. That's all for now. See you on the next video. Annyeong. Annyeong.